गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट मिनिमम ऑपरेशन टू रीच थ्रेश होल्ड वैल्यू टू प्रॉब्लम विच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर थ्री जीरो डबल सिक्स लेट्स नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजर आर एन नम्स एंड एन इंटीजर के इन वन ऑपरेशन यू विल डू द फॉलोइंग टेक द टू स्मॉलेस्ट इंटीजर एक्स एंड वाई इन नम्स रिमूव एक्स एंड वाई फ्रॉम नम्स एंड एड मिनिमम ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू प्लस maximum of x comma y anywhere in the array note that you can only apply the described operation if nums contains at least two elements return the minimum number of operations needed so that all the elements of the array are greater than or equal to k now the problem statement is simple to understand first let's look at the constraint in this case we are given the nums length to be in the range of 2 to 2 times of 10 to the power of 5 that means our array cannot have one element or zero elements right and if this is the uh, number of items that we can have definitely we cannot write an n square algorithm but rather something better than n square algorithm will make sense because n square will make it four times of 10 to the power of 10 which is way beyond your 10 to the power 8 limit okay so if you write an n log n algorithm it will definitely work within time each of the item nums i is within the range of 10 to the power of 9 so all of them are actually a uh, positive integer and very close to the integer range even the k value is very close to the integer range so whenever you are performing all these operations it is recommended that you take a long long integer that is 64 bit integer rather than just taking 32 bit simple integer because uh, these numbers are very close to integer range and they may overflow now the last point is the input is generated such that an answer always exist that is there exists some sequence of operation after which all the elements of the array are greater than or equals to k now this point is important because we always know that the answer exists and therefore we do not have to worry about any abnormalities in the question now since this problem statement is very simple let's now uh, look at a dry run of this given example so in this case we are given 2 11 10 1 3 <laughs> so we are required to find out the two minimums at any point of time and you know that whenever you want to extract minimum then you can push all these values into a min heap so i will build a min heap out of this entire array min heap is also a tree data structure implemented using array so i can just build a heap in order of n time and is the size of the array and i can now extract the minimum values in log n time we have successfully built the min heap i will also keep a counter which will be counting uh, the number of steps that we have taken in order for all the values to be greater than equals to k now in this particular case if let's say the k value was equals to 1 then if you even see the minimum item here which is 1 it is actually greater than equals to k this means that we do not need to do any operation and we will be returning zero as an answer right but in our case let's start the operation for k equals to 10 So if my k value is set to 10 then what i have to do i have to take the first two minimum so let's take out the first minimum which is 1 when you take out 1 compare this 1 with uh, this given value k if 1 happens to be greater than equals to k return the count value and that's it okay but 1 is less than 10 so you have to also take out the second minimum which is 2 to so take out this 1 and 2 and you take the minimum of these two values multiply it by 2 and take the maximum of these two values this is according to the formulation which have been mentioned right so this will be uh, equals to minimum is 1 into 2 2 2 plus 2 4 so 4 is the value here and insert 4 at any point in the array so i will be just inserting it into the heap and after that increment your count value and make it count plus plus right so we are done with first operation okay in the next operation again take out the minimum value it is 3 so the first minimum is 3 compare this 3 with 10 3 is less than 10 so i have to operate take out the second minimum which is 4 take the minimum of this two value multiply by 2 and add the value of uh, i mean the maximum value which is 4 so minimum is 3 3 uh, into 2 is 6 plus 4 is 10 so remove this 4 and 3 and append a 10 into the heap right we are done with the second operation so do count plus plus after this let's go to the third operation so take out the minimum so the minimum will be 10 and as soon as you take out 10 you compare this with k it is saying that 10 is greater than equals to uh, this given k value so which means 
that if the minimum is greater than equals to k then all the elements of the array have now become greater than equals to k and the number of operations it took is count number of operations so in this case 2 and we will be returning 2 as an answer right so this is the entire approach to solve this problem in this case the build heap operation will take order of n time and after this each of the push and pop operation will take log n time and how many times we will be doing log n operation we will be doing the size of the nums array times which is order of n time so the time complexity will be equals to order of n for the build heap and n log n for push and pop operation which boils down to order of n log n and what about the space complexity it is due to the min heap so we will be building a heap out of it right so that will be taking order of n extra space for the n given items so this is the entire approach let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code you can see that uh, we are given the nums array and the k value so i have taken a 64 bit integer here so as to avoid the overflow uh, i have taken a min heap so it is building the heap with the given array which is done in order of n time now i am taking the counter for the number of operations and i will be simulating what is said in the problem until the min heap gets empty take out the first minimum and uh, check if the first minimum value is greater than equals to k if it is then we can break and simply return the count as an answer otherwise you take out the second minimum as well and push the new item which is two times of minimum of first minimum comma second minimum plus maximum of first minimum comma second minimum and after that increment the operation by one time repeat this process unless the first minimum actually becomes greater than equals to k and since we are guaranteed that the answer always exists therefore we will always be able to break and return the count as an answer so this is the entire approach and I hope you were able to understand it. If you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.